Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about this full-size ATX mainboard for my modular project. So when I first made my modular project, a lot of emails I got was regarding the uh, lack of card slots on the board, whereas the processor, the memory, takes up two slots. Let me just show you side by side real quick for those who haven't seen the other one. So, the processor goes in the first slot and you have memory, throw in a video card, leaves you with one slot. Same thing now, but it'll leave you with four slots. So the features of this board are very identical to the other one. You've got the seven card slots with two of my custom expansion slots here. This one's still for the processor, it can go into either one. And the DMA controller can plug into one of these if you would like to use a DMA controller. I'll make a whole nother video on that uh, once I get it tested. Uh, we got some resistors on the board. These are used for pull up, pull down where necessary. We got some 27 ohm resistors that come off the, the clock lines. They're in line with the clock line. Uh, we've got some 510 ohm here that go to the crystal, up here one for the LED. Speaker, I did something a little different. I just soldered a speaker right to the board where on my other board, and this board is the same, I had a uh, pin header. And I just figured I'd give it a try. The pins are about the same spacing. So we got our decoding here for the port 61, port 60, and what I'm using for the hard drive, which is USB module. The uh, decoding comes out here on my custom slot, so you don't have to decode for the system timer or interrupt controller on the processor, uh, just so you don't have to do it again. You, If you made a card, you could put it on there to decode again, but it just saves you that extra, some extra chips. So this will use both processors, or either processor, not both at the same time. Um, still using 512K of RAM. And then, like I said, I've added a DMA controller. Uh, I'll make a whole video on that later. Once I've tested it, make sure it's working correctly. I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to show this in the case, show how it fits. So here we are in the case. I haven't screwed it in. This is a full-size ATX case. Just got it lined up. So it lines up with all the seven slots. I've tested it. They fit in just fine. In this case, the power supply would go down at the bottom, run the cables underneath, and then plug in here for the power. And so like I mentioned, this is for if you wanted to use a lot of ISA cards on the project. I can't guarantee that all ISA cards will work. This is designed to be PC compatible, but it's not 100%. If you're not using uh, a bunch of extra ISA cards, I'd recommend just going with the other board. Uh, if you're just using it for software, for booting off USB drive and running uh, 8088. Uh, mainly so you don't have to buy a full-size ATX case. I'm going to hook it all together and show a quick demo of it booting up. Yeah, I've got it all put together here outside of the case. Now this is just the uh, D40 processor in memory and a video card. No DMA controller. I have tested with the DMA controller. It will boot up. Um, it actually will run kind of slow. It, uh, I think it's doing a memory refresh part of the uh, BIOS. I did not write this BIOS. This is the third party BIOS. So it's like everything seems to run just a touch slower. So here's uh, one thing. The speaker is just toning. I can't unplug it. That is one disadvantage to soldering it to the board. Not to stop. There's some uh, issues in the BIOS that need to be corrected so that speaker doesn't just sit in tone. Uh, I'm going to 
shut it down. We'll boot up with the uh, 8088 V20. Now I've mentioned this in my other videos. Uh, with the third party BIOS that boots on the VGA, you gotta use the V20 because there was some 186 code that was snuck in. Uh, 8088 won't boot on that VGA BIOS. Now my BIOS, I haven't tried my BIOS on this yet. Uh, it only boots on a CGA card, but it will run the 8088. So that gave a system error. I'm having an issue with that. I have to double check some of my chips to make sure it's not in it. Uh, one out of line. Try a different. So this one will boot, yeah, so that processor card probably has a bad chip on it. So I actually wrote in my keyboard function, maybe I'll change it to setup, to go in and change the speaker as well. And you can see it's just, tone, it's a low pitch tone now. I may just go in and make sure it just shuts it off completely. Um, so far, most DOS things work. A uh, few games work. I've just tested the few that I've uh, showed in my other videos. See, edit loaded just fine. Maybe uh, now that I've got this larger card, I'll dig out a card with a serial port on it and test a serial mouse. See if we can get that to work. sure if this is going to show through or not. Probably a little blurry on the screen. But this is F-Disk. It's showing that we have a 10 megabyte partition on our USB drive. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, message me here on, the, on YouTube or send me an email. Uh, thanks for checking out my video.